But since I did bring up Super Mario Sunshine, I did want to get into the main topic, which is about Splatoon 2. Which some people theorize that Splatoon 2 is actually an alternate universe if Mario fails in Super Mario Sunshine. It's apparently a post-apocalyptic universe. I mean, after all, those that. squids do look a lot like those bloops from Super Mario Brothers. Mm -hmm. But anyways, that's not what we're talking about. So what we're talking about, we had Splatoon 2 come out, of course. Which uh, I had a lot of fun with initially uh, when that came out on the Switch. And it, it is a good game. I'm not going to, uh, you know, cut it down for that. You know, it is a by-the-numbers sequel to Splatoon 1. It's pretty much more the same, but you're getting new stuff. You're getting new right. maps, you get new weapons, you get some new special abilities and things like that. I dig you the know. dualies. The dualies are really cool. Yeah, dualies are pretty nice, I will admit for sure. Uh, definitely a very good, if you're kind of like in the offensive kind of mode and you want to just like really run up on somebody and you want to just dodge and stuff like that, it's really cool. Yeah. But anyways, um, this game at launch, from what we understood, it did not support any voice chat except for this app that Nintendo had. This Nintendo Switch app, or whatever it's called, that you had to download if you wanted the voice chat in the game. Which obviously was a pain in the butt. I mean, who really cares about using a stupid app, right? I mean, especially when the app has so many problems. So I imagine most people kind of got pissy about it, but if they really needed the voice chat in a three-minute match, just get on freaking Skype, you know, or Discord or something like that. Like, do you really need to do that? Or heck, the trick that you were talking about, the way you said that you had to, uh, with the uh, Switch in order to use headphones, you routed it kind of through your Xbox One. I mean, I would assume oh, yeah, you could yeah, probably yeah. use Xbox yeah. Party Chat if you had other people doing that too. You could probably do yeah. Xbox Party Chat, you know, and uh, chat that way. I didn't think I didn't think about that, but yeah, that that would actually work fucking surprisingly well, man. I think you just came from there. Yeah, gave you an idea there. <laughs> yeah, 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 but. Uh, so apparently, I've learned recently that the game has actually had voice chat in it the entire time. So, yeah. Built um, in to the game. Like, you don't have to download any apps or anything like that. But there's a catch. You gotta have like 15 fucking thousand switches. No, no, no. No, that's not the catch. The catch is... It's only when you're playing in land mode. Which means so right. when you're playing locally with people nearby you using switches, you know, where you don't need headsets. It's Unless you're in a really loud arena, maybe, or something like that. Through your Wi-Fi or through, like, uh, just being, like, locally, like, we're in the same room and we both have a switch together. You pair your switches in LAN mode, which is a really nice feature of the Switch. It's something that the other systems do not have. Uh, it was actually one of the features that kind of helped out the original Xbox way back in the day. I mean, remember, you ever did the LAN parties in Halo? Man, those are great. Yeah, but, uh, uh, no, I, I never did it, but I know what you're talking about. But in LAN mode, voice chat works freely. You don't have to go through any kind of app. You don't have to hook up any kind of weird, funky devices. Nothing. You just plug in your headphones into the uh, headphone jack and you can talk to the players and they can hear you and everything's great. Mm. But it really pissed me off because Nintendo kept insisting that they could not do it in the game. They could not do it. You had to download this app. You had to get this dongle if you wanted to uh, play the game sound and the uh, chat in the same at the same time, you know, in your ears. You had to do all this weird crap when it was built in all along and you didn't have to do any of it. You know, that was like... I was already kind of pissed off about the game, but at that point, I made the conscious decision that I was going to sell my copy of Splatoon 2. And I made good on that. I actually traded in the GameStop. They had a really awesome trade-in deal. I got $51 in trading credit. Really? Yeah. Which that deal's kind of gone now, but they kind of like, you know, they kind of go back and forth, the trade deals. Um, 
And then, of course, with what I just read today, it kind of, like, reinforced my opinion on this. Like, it made me feel good that I made that choice rather than regret it. Because there is the uh, salmon mon run mode, which is kind of like the horde mode of the game. Did you like that, though? Did you like it? The salmon run? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a really fun mode, and which is, is another reason why it kind of made me mad, because, like, I mean, they had, like, this whole, oh, you can only access it through certain times of the day, and it's like every couple of days or so, it'll just pop up. And the only way you would know is whenever you're first booting the game up, you had to go through all those annoying little things with the... I uh, hate that. I hate that it does that. I hate Which that. I get it, but at the same time, there should be, like, a quicker way to go through it, you know, like, where you could just kind of zip by it, you know, or something like that. Exactly. In, like, ten seconds. But you have to sit there for like two minutes going through all these messages. I will say, I will say though, the pleasant part of that, and call me what you want to, but the the with the the, I guess she's like uh, supposed to be African American or the black one or whatever, dude. She's pretty fucking hot, dude. Oh, Pearl. <laughs> yeah, Pearl? Uh, the one on the the one on the right. Uh, oh, I think she's, yeah, she's the one on the left. I'm not uh, the one on the the one on the the one who's a DJ who does a you know she does a little scratch. Um, she's pretty fucking hot, dude. I'll give I'll give her that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, geez. completely off topic, but still, man, she's she's pretty fucking hot. <laughs> oh, jeez, man, that's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's pretty hot for a cartoon character, I guess. That uh, it'll it, it, yeah, that whatever. Looks like whatever an eight year old. <laughs> yeah, hey, look, man, Chris Hansen's like, I have the transcripts right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, Salmon Run, of course, is a horde mode, which is excellent. It's it's a really good horde mode with the way it plays, and it has its own it. and it has its own progression system, which it's kind of weird that it does. Like it be it be cool if you could like use the progression from that to help you out in multiplayer and vice versa. But it's cool that you can actually unlock your own things in that, which I, I think is really neat. You know, for people that want to do that mode, but you can't always do it. You have to do it only on Nintendo's schedule when they decide to do it. Now, nobody ever understood why, but apparently uh, one of the directors of the game, I forgot who it was, uh, he was talking about how it, the reason why that is that way is because Japan has a completely different philosophy when it comes to game design from like the uh, US and whatnot, which is a completely bogus reason because... Like, Tomb Raider is published by a Japanese company. You can play the multiplayer on that anytime you want. You don't have to wait for Lara Croft to uh, kind of have her hair tied up in a ponytail before you can play the multiplayer in the game, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um, no, no, they had to uh, make this weird decision, and, and they're kind of standing by it. Like, it, it makes it sound like they're, they're not going to change their mind. So if you like this horde mode thing, you're just going to have to deal with the restrictions of it. I mean, fair enough. I mean, if that's... Look, you can't argue with it. It's their shit. I mean, you can't make them change it. Um, but also, I think, like, uh, I've seen that, like, people... Um, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch this shit because I'm not, like, obsessed with Splatoon or anything like that. But, like, my oldest son is obsessed with Splatoon. He's like... Oh, salmon, salmon, salmon rushes out. Like you need to stream it right now. You're gonna have a million views because it's live this second. And I'm like, dude, I don't care. Like it's not my <laughs> thing. Like I don't care. He's like, look, people get a lot of views from watching this stuff. And I'm like, dude, like I once again, I don't care. Like it's not my thing. I don't care about uh, Splatoon. I don't care about Salmon Rush. It's fun to play like on my own uh, when it's in portable mode. Uh, but no, like he was like, apparently like people like are obsessed with the salmon rush thing. Like cause it's, it's only available in certain times, et cetera, et cetera, where it makes it like more desirable to watch and you get, you know, people get views from it. Cause they, they, you know, cause you know, he, he follows all that video game, uh, craze stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love video games too, but he's, he is obsessed, obsessed with Splatoon 2. He was, obsessed, he was obsessed with the first Splatoon. So. Right, right, which, I mean, I guess you could say that this isn't the first time Nintendo's done this. I mean, you go back to the first Splatoon, and this one also, you have the Splatfests. And when you have the Splatfest going on, you can't do any other multiplayer activities. It's just the Splatfests. 
You can't do the ranked matches or the regular matches or nothing like that. You have to do the Splatfest. Mm -hmm. But that's a little bit different because that's like a once a month event. That's like a special event. Right, 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 um, right, right, right. And then, of course, you have games like Overwatch that have like the seasonal events. Like they had the Olympics event. They have like something else going on right now, don't they, in Overwatch? or The Summer Games. Oh, that's still going on in Overwatch? Uh, no, it, it's it's over now. It's oh, okay, over now. Yeah, it just recently ended, right? But uh, Right, right, yeah, but yeah. But yeah, they yeah. have like special events like that where they'll do it for like a month or two, you know? And, then and they'll, and they'll do that. They'll they'll do that to like make you play it for that. You know, to get I guess their bandwidth or whatever. Mm -hmm. See how many people are playing it, and et cetera, et cetera. But you know, they they get like uh, you to do that to you know get the skins, the the special skins and the special dances or emojis or et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's no, there's nothing. Um, I will say there's different uh, modes into it, but they're all pretty fucking standard. Uh, but I will say right. that Overwatch just uh, uh, announced that, or well, I actually played it. It's not announced it's happening. The deathmatch thing, which is pretty interesting, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, that's supposed to be coming out pretty soon, from what I understand. If, if it's not already, I, I'm, I'm not a huge Overwatch guy. But uh, actually, I, I actually talked about that a little bit um, previously. You know, like a couple weeks back. But um, it, the, this is different because, like, hey, like, like with the Overwatch, it was a special event, like. It's something that, you know, if you want to participate in it, you can rely on it for that whole month or so that they're doing it. Right. And you have an actual timetable of how long it's going to last for. And so if you wanted those special skins and things like that, you can plan around that, you know. You can, uh, you know, if you spend whatever time you have free to play that game, you can plan around that. And you can also, you know, if, if you got to pay for loot boxes, you can just do that or whatever, you know. But you had the opportunity to participate in that regardless. This, the timing that they put out is really weird. First of all, it seems like that they do it like in 12 hour blocks. And at least for the US, they do it like in the middle of the night is when they start it. Like they start it at like 11 p.m. Uh, Pacific time or some weird ass time like that. And then they just do it for like 12 hours from there. Well, a lot of people are going to be going to sleep and then they'll go to work the next morning and they'll never get a chance to play it, you know, and it's not like they have a schedule on when they'll see this. They just randomly do it. So you can't plan around it. If you really want to participate, you just have to just be on at the right time. You know, sometimes they do it in the other op opposite of the spectrum, too. But, you know, that is, it's just dumb, you know, I think. I think it's it's also to drive hype into it, you know, like, you know, limited, you know, whatever you want to call it, limited run time of this to to not have like the 24 hour access, because maybe if that game or that part of the game was 24 hour access, it wouldn't seem so appealing. OK, I could get that. You see what Make I'm saying? It a special like, event thing, but you should at least give people clear communication on when they can play it. Like, if they say, want to no, say, agreed, for example, agreed, agreed. if they want to say, for example, okay, it's a weekend only thing. Saturdays and Sundays is when you could do it. Right. I could respect something like that at least because we would know when we can play it and we can try to plan around that when possible. You know, it might be difficult for some people to get some time into it, but they'll still have a chance, you know, because, you know, even if they're working on both days and obviously got to sleep and things like that, they're probably still going to get a chance to play at least some of the time. You know, they don't have to worry about it happening while they're in bed or at work or something like that. Yeah. No, agreed. Well, Destiny was really good about that. I mean, you know, this day was good for the... Uh, I'm sorry. Et cetera, et cetera. I'm sorry you got cut off a bit. What was that about Destiny? Like, you know, you know, they reset every Tuesday. Uh, but you have, you know, sometimes you'd have like your special events like for Sparrow Racing or... Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Oh yeah, the weekly uh, events. Yes. Right. So um, I think that does work to some degree. It like builds the hype up around the game and certain effects. And I also guess the players like you know something to be festive about. Like you know we're festive as human beings, right? Right. We celebrate. We celebrate what like you know Halloween, Christmas, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, Destiny was kind of doing that, right? I mean they would like you know have like uh, the Halloween thing where you get the pumpkin mask and. Uh, they would do. Um, I remember when it was Christmas, like it was snowing um, on the on the uh, the uh, the main uh, your hub world, et cetera, et cetera, the tower. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but it also makes sense, like, uh, or doesn't make sense for Splatoon, where it's like, there's no rhyme or reason to when it when it exists or when it starts and when it ends. You know what I right. mean? Right. And not, not just that, but they don't really do anything different. Like, you don't see anything different in the actual town or anything like that. Like, with the Splatfest, you do see difference, because they have, like, a big party, and everybody's dancing, and the music's playing loud and stuff like that whenever they do the Splatfest. But right, whenever right, they have right. the Salmon Run events, it's like the only way you have any indication they're doing that is listening to those messages at the beginning. Nothing's different. And you're not listening. You're just like bearing through. Yeah, exactly. You're just pressing the A button as quickly as possible. Like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> like, kill accurate. me now. Kill me now. <laughs> um, exactly. But, I mean... That kind of reaffirmed my decision to get rid of it. Like, Nintendo did like what you kind of suggested with like how Destiny does it or Overwatch does it or something like that. If they actually made it special in some way and also made it something to where you can actually rely on when it's going to happen, I might feel differently about that. But it yeah, just understood. Seemed, it just seemed really arrogant with the way that they're doing it. And th- that was kind of the part, uh, uh, a, a point that I brought up at one time where it was like, you know, it, it's it's. I understand it, and uh, I think you brought it up. Like Overwatch, will does that? Well, Overwatch does does that. Like, but like, there's a clear, definitive, like realm of when you can start and when it's going to end. So you know, like, where you need to grind if you really want these things, et cetera, et cetera, or this is when you really want to play it. But yeah, Splatoon Two was like, you know, fuck you, dude. We'll we'll put this shit out whenever we feel like it. Like that was kind of it's kind of a slap in the face a little bit, right? So, yeah, it was a really good discussion we've had, man. We've c- touched on a lot of different things. So I want you to go ahead and try to plug uh, your stuff one more time. I mean, do you do, really do anything besides YouTube as far as uh, content out there? Subscribe to the DPNME on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. Get cookie down now. <laughs> <laughs>